Fisty cups. Ooh, these clouds are something else, though. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? South African Geek here. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into the final episode of Arcane Season 1. The monsters we create. Oh, man. Like, Netflix got me so accustomed to watching shows, like, on the day they come out because it's bingeable. But this three episodes weekly thing kind of works for me in the recording and editing and, you know, putting it out there on YouTube situation. This really makes the job easier <laughs> in the situation. So I, I'm, I might be down for other shows adopting this weekly thing, especially if it's like three or four episodes a week, because I can manage that. Because even Cabo Bebop, I've been hearing bad things about it, so I'm not going to react to it. Plus, it's like 10 episodes. Plus, I got so many other things to react to. So, because of the bad reviews <laughs> from people I trust, not just like Rotten Tomato or some bullshit like that, I'm not going to check that out for my channel. I'll probably make a review if I feel like it needs a review, but I'm going to watch it. Um. Anyway, we're here to talk about Arcane. Jinx looks like she went to take Katie. Uh, Jason um, and Vi had... Dopest action sequence. My boy Echo's still alive and he's working with the professor, man. Oh, so many duos. Man, I'm loving this show so much. Never played League of Legends in my life, but dude might. <laughs> After this, let's dive right in. Sister, sister. Oh, yeah, this kid died so dramatically. This dude really got kids working in his factories. He'll be forever changed by this moment. Dude has guilt now. You've always been a part of this is over. Vi has seen a lot. Ooh, are they about to go 1v1? Oh shit. I can't. They're not gonna fight. He's the kid that rang the alarm on top of that, right? This show got two directors? Bye bye, factory. What? That's her boy? Why would you have your boy working in the factories? Oh, Finn. Damn. You still mourning her? Now his hand is also changed. This is some Doc Ock type of origin. Now they're gonna focus on their relationship. When she did. Damn, that thing is changing as well. Is he going to grab it again? Oh, he's destroying it. What is happening? He can't destroy it. What just happened? She legit chilling here until it's time for war. So is everything. She mad at mommy dearest. What? What's new? Stay away. Mom really on some Conan the Barbarian tip. Our family. God damn. I stopped the decisions. You and weakened me. To you took your heart, daughter. I need a killer by my side. She's getting rid of her ashes. Damn. He's now on the edge of jumping like They just saved each other. That was such a callback. He's hiding his changes. The Victor had a whole 360 moment. Same as Chase, taking lives is not for them. We lost pursuit of great science pros. We failed to do good. Did she just sweep the chair for Finn? Damn, it's like that her go-to move betraying the people she follows, man. When you took whatever the world through. God damn, they're really trying to kill him. To the I think Jinx is gonna save his ass. Damn! 
She actually killed Finn. Oh shit. She's loyal to him, I suppose. Your son killed for this. She terrified. Stop showing favoritism to Jinx. Did he get an invite from that woman's mother? Or Chase? You got a truce? He doesn't have the bloodlust Jinx has. I am and Jinx. She was in his own. Is he actually gonna give up Jinx? Oh yeah, didn't Jinx kidnap? Damn. Oh. It's not enough to give people what they It's like the Lost Boys. It's a professor learning a thing or two for Mako right now. They're really hiding Jinx this episode. Venda has a statue? Damn, Jinx. Dude has his monster guards everywhere. Ooh, she's taking back the bar. Dude's what? Ooh, she took down your guards. Rematch. The score. Oh my god. It's like a western. Oh shit. Fisty cups. Ooh, these clouds are something else, though. Shit. What? They're showing Vi's vision like it's Jinx's vision. The hell? Ooh. God damn. The weaponry they have in this universe. Damn. She getting her ass handed to her. I didn't expect her to lose this fight, no lie. Damn, she out here bleeding. She actually passing out? Well, you go. She's oh, getting a vendor vision. Hallucination pep talk. She about to That's whoop what? that woman's ass, nah. Want love? Ooh. Damn, uh, the lighting. So cool. Ooh. Uppercut. Ooh. I was wrong. She didn't uppercut her finish. Damn. They broke the jukebox. Damn. That whole fight took out all the lights. Anymore. God damn. He just told them shit. Except you. Look at how mad they are that the Undercity D wants their independence. They don't even give a shit about the Undercity. They just want power. What is this? Oh, it's Jinx. No lie, Jinx has been a great protagonist. I mean, antagonist. I don't know why I just called her a protagonist. She's she about to blame herself of, of her sister. She's doing her villain mo montage right now. I mean, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, daylighting seems so cool this episode. Monologue. Villain monologue. That's the word I was looking for. What did she do to Kate? She used that love as muffins. Damn, Jinx. Damn, she's like, kill your girlfriend and have me back. Damn. They legit fighting for her mental state right now. Symbolic. Damn. The okay. Damn. I don't lie. I don't know what I'd do if I had a sibling like this, guy. Because logically, she's not supposed to be let roam free. Ooh! She got new abilities. Damn. Damn, this literally is a fight for her mind. What the hell just happened? Who just died? She probably protected her sister right now. She did. Damn. Now she has guilt for killing him? Goddamn. Dude really accepted her for who she is. Damn. You okay? She'll be Jinx from now on, I suppose. Jinx won the mind. Ooh. That's cool. Yes, to the U.S. Mm. 
What is she about to do? Is she about to go full blown war? With the... Oh shit. Yo, if she kills Chase's love, it'll be over, dog. Damn. Uh, bruh, she legit started a whole war at the end of this. Uh, Professor and boy Echo. Is she shooting at the moon? What? Bro, she's legit about to kill all the council members. Oh shit. Yo. Damn, Jinx. What a cliffhanger ending, my god. Like, she's... She, there's no way she's surviving this. Jinx and Victor could survive this. Somehow, maybe Victor's abilities will activate and save Chase, but... Jace's love is gone, dog. Oh my god, it's about to be a full-blown war. Maybe there'll be another time jump. Bruh, she's also killing, like, Kate's mother. There's no way Kate will ever forgive Jinx now. She's probably gonna run the underground. What a phenomenal episode. Yeah. Let me rank on my characters one time, real quick. Obviously, Jinx gotta be number one, because... This story wouldn't be shit without all the antics. Then I gotta go with my boy Echo. Number two. Then Vi, because Vi's view of the whole turn of Jinx is interesting. It kind of does make her one note, though. Even though Hayley Steinfeld's voice acting was phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? But seeing two people from the same household, one without morals, one with morals, makes the interesting dilemma of the sister-sister. And then we gotta go to my boy, uh, Jake's next. His changes from being corrupt to not corrupt, to changing, to having that dope-ass hammer scene was was interesting. Um, Then we gotta go with my boy, Victor. Yeah, that was on the top five. I still think there's so much more we can do with all these characters. Damn. Vanda was cool at the beginning. But that's what he was here for, to be cool at the beginning. I give the season like a uh, 9 out of 10, actually. 9 out of 10. There were some moments where it had pacing problems, but visually, story-wise, action sequence-wise, the directing, the voice acting, the sound design, pfft. Give these motherfuckers an Oscar. If there were Oscars for series. No, they ain't. 